Good evening. Hello, students. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. Welcome to. Good our evening. Class. Good evening. Welcome to our English class. Like a new day of life, we're just here, ready to practice English, and also maximize our English skills. So, it's a great pleasure to have you here. And also, we're going to like start today. With so I hope that we can um, learn today in a class and also have fun because it's important. Before that we start our classes, I just want to ask what we studied yesterday. What do you remember we studied in our class yesterday? Who wants to help me to respond this question? The pronoun processive, possessive pronouns. Okay, possessive pronouns. Okay, sounds great. What else uh, would you like to include? Yes. Hi, welcome everyone. What else did we started yesterday? Possessive adjective. The possessive adjectives too. Okay, the possessive adjectives. Excellent. And I have a question for all of you. Do you remember uh, what is the function of a possessive adjective? Oh, my, his, her, their. Okay, and uh, what is the function? Uh, what is the function of the possessive adjectives? Hacer más fluida la conversación. For the possessive? No, esas son las contracciones. Sorry. The not Yes. What is what the possessive adjectives represent? Pertenencia. Okay, yes. It shows, as the word says, possession. That's the main point of this. Okay, yeah, definitely when we're talking about the possessive, uh, possessive adjectives, that, uh, the possessive adjective represents possessions about people, animal, and things. So that's why the possessive adjectives are really important too and highlight in the process. And um, that's one of the things that we can also in, uh, concentrate our effort to, to try. That's what we had to do. So 
we will continue with the rest of the activities. And um, we also were, were talking about contractions. So what do you remember about the contractions? And when, what is the function of a contraction? Yes. What is the function of a contraction? What is that? Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. It's yours. Cheese. The contractions. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la función de una contraction? Hacer más fluida la conversación. Okay, to make the main verbs shorter. To, to make the main verbs shorter and also having a fast conversation. Muy bien. Okay, excelente. And we're going to continue with the next topic today. And also it's a kind of review of the, uh, our sequence we could say about the, the, uh, the topic that we're sharing today. Demonstrate possession of a thing. Nice, David. Excellent. Let me see here. We're going to go on to the next part. And by the way, how's the weather like in this moment? How's the weather? It's cold, it's hot, it's warm. How, how do you feel? Because it's hot here. Yeah, so a little bit challenging. You need to have a... All of us, we need to have an air conditioning or at least a fan to, you know, control this weather that is so criminal. Anyway, okay, we have this video conference and the topic is where do you work? That's the topic. Okay, so let's see right here. Look at this one. The general objective is that in this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. So we're talking about interacting with people. La interacción con las personas, right? Usted conoce a alguien y preguntan, socializan acerca de diferentes cosas. And also we have this one. Look at this. I'm going to make this bigger. So one second. So do you like your job? Hello, hello. Question. No, not yeah. much. Not much. Yeah. You need to change. Probably. Okay. So it's important to value uh, how we feel, especially when we're at, when we have a job. So evaluate ourselves about it. Okay, I understand. So are is your job easy or difficult? Also. 50-50. 50-50. Okay, there are complex things and easier things. Like in every single job, we have to, you know, try to concentrate our effort. Well, I'm going to share right now a kind of an article and we're going to read this article and I want you to concentrate about what they mention here in this article here. One moment, please. Okay. Can you see the presentation here? Can you see the presentation? Yes, I can. Excellent. So I need a volunteer for helping me to read this article. What's in a name? So look at look at the names and article. Do you know any people with these names? Eh, no sé, alguien un voluntario que nos diga yo quiero leerlo dicho. Sí. A ver quién nos quiere ayudar a leerlo. Eh, Oscar. Thank you, Oscar. It's all, all yours. Go ahead. What's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. Is it an important part of your identity? 
Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book uh, characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Impopular names suggest uh, negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent recent survey. Boys' names, George, average, boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good-looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Girl's name, Betty, old-fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, Beautiful, intelligent. So why do parents give their children some proper names? The biggest reason is tradition. Is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now may become popular in the future. That's good news for our George and Betty's out there. That's it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So we can check this important article, you know, about that. But look at the names and article. So the question is, do you know any people with these names? There are some names that are very interesting, but also some names that, well, it's the first time you listen to these names. For example, um, I, I I went to Son Sonate, like, well, some time ago. And I work in Sonsonate for, uh, for a project. And there were some last names that, being honest, I have never heard about those two last names. And I was like, and what is your last name, sir? Oh, my name, my last name is this. And I was like, oh my God, it's the first time that I listen um a last name, a very interesting names. And that's why it says names can become popular because of famous actors, you know, there are famous actors, you know, have they, their, they name, their names. And we are like, hey, do you know this person? Yeah, so you know this person because an actor has his name, so uh, attracts your attention. So look at this one. Boys' names, George, it's like average, boring, Jaco, creative, friendly, Michael, good looking, athletic. So, you know, hey, what's your name? My name is Michael. Okay, and uh, people, Say that when they go to when they go to the gym, uh, the people who go to the gyms are named Michael, John, Rich, Richie. I don't know. Uh, people having fun, and also Stanley is nerdy, serious. Girls' names like Betty, old fashioned, average. Who says that? I don't know, but this is what it says: uh, Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. So think about what your name says. For example, Anna, what your name says, Anna Isela. What? What your name says. Mm -hmm. What about your name? So, My name? Yeah, uh, Oscar, what about your name? What your name says? Um, older people, I think. Yeah, intelligent, <laughs> smart, creative, what your name says. Maybe serious. Okay, serious, okay. What else? Say something about you, what your name says. Uh, my second name, my second name is Otoniel. Oh, okay. And according to the Bible, it means justice. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. That's hey, great. Otoniel was the first judge in the in the Bible. 
Okay, that's that's interesting. All right. So, well, this is uh, one of the examples we have here um, about that one. Look at the last part of this. Uh, so why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member, of course. Opinions can change over time. A name is that uh, is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all George and, and Vettists out there. And also, sometimes we have some names because our parents give those names from generations because my grandfather was called in that way, then my father, and then me, and then my son, and then my so go on. So sometimes uh, the names are tradition. For example, I have a question. Do you have a name similar to your grandparents name or your grand grandparents name? Tienen el nombre de... Yes? Yeah, my dad uh, is Oscar too. You have you have the same name with your father. Yeah. Okay. And and what about you guys? Do you have the same name, like your your father and your grandparent, grandfather, or grandmother? Mm, me, uh, not for me, but my mother, my grandma, and my sister. Yes. Todas comparten el nombre eh, Virginia. Ah, ok. Es un, ya es una tradición. Es una tradición. Y cuando preguntan por Virginia y quién de, de todas, y todos se ven ahí para ver quién es. Tal vez ese es el reto. Yeah, but, you know, it's a great name. And also people feel proud because, you know, they feel proud to have the name. Entonces, es sienten orgullosos de tener el nombre. Y el nieto también va a tener ese nombre. Hasta lo ponen en tercero. Smith first, Smith primero, Smith segundo, Smith third, second, so you know, see that. So, but it's important. Well, we're going to have a short time to socialize some questions about names. Vamos a ver, vamos a poner aquí. Y vamos a contestar las siguientes preguntas. Read the article and then check the statements that are true. Your name is part of your identity. ¿Qué opinan? ¿Es parte de tu identidad el nombre o no? People often feel the same way uh, about a particular name. Que las personas a menudo sienten el mismo, la misma manera o sienten, no sé, algo similar de, en un nombre particular. Por ejemplo, my name is David. My name is William David. And when I listen my name David, eh, I feel like the King David in the Bible. The King David was very strong, was very powerful in one way, and was very close to God. So, entonces, yo me identifico con el nombre de David. It's a, for me, it's a special name, because according to the Bible. Entonces, las personas sienten algo eh, de un nombre en particular. Okay. Yo les yes. pregunto, ¿alguien se llama Messi? ¿Qué opinan ustedes? ¿Qué se les viene a la mente? El vecino se llama Messi. ¿Qué opinan? El futbolista. Ah, vale. Entonces ya, ya las personas sienten que ese nombre representa algo. Y a veces ese que se llama Superstar. Messi. Y, el que se, y ese que se llama Messi ni jugar puede. Pero como se llama Messi, <laughs> people say, no, it's Messi. No, that's a person. Um, boys names are more popular than girls names. ¿Qué opinan ustedes? Según el artículo, it says boy na boys names are more popular than girls names. Uh, people are often named after family members. Um, las personas am, eh, son a menudo llamadas eh, después, o sea, según el nombre de los miembros de la familia. Um, and the last one is opinions about names change. Las opiniones acerca de, las, de los nombres cambian. Y les voy a dejar unos minutitos para que lo puedan contestar. The God dice, ok, The God, The King. Ok, so I will give you a time to read the article. Quiero que lean el artículo y luego contesten las preguntas. Okay. Teacher, la, la number five, what is the meaning? I'm sorry, I just um, moved here. Uh, uh, opinions of, about names can change. Las opiniones acerca de los nombres pueden cambiar. ¿Qué opinan ustedes? Según el artículo, ¿qué es lo que dice el artículo? Si, op si opiniones cambian o no. So, check the article. 
It's true. In the last paragraph. Okay, so that, that's important to, you know, to compare. Well, so I'll give you time to read the article and then you can help me to check the real answers about this article. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes. Hi, George. Okay. Sí, este, por alguna razón hubo una confusión a la hora que quedaron los enlaces. Entonces, hubo un par de compañeros, entre ellos yo, que entramos en otro grupo. Yo hasta, hasta pasaron asistencia esperando que me pasara. Pero nos dimos cuenta de que está mal el enlace. Yo les puse a mis compañeros, los que estábamos perdidos por allá, que siguiéramos el enlace que está en el grupo el principal. Porque el que había enviado para el día de ahora, redirigía, pero para otra clase. Entonces, por si sí hay que tomar en consideración eso para los compañeros. Ok, pero usted sí está aquí, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Usted sí está aquí, en este sí, grupo. Sí, sí. Ah, vaya. Sí, 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 sí. Ah, excelente. Ah, pues sí, estamos bien, estamos bien. Eh, Jorge Francisco, no sé si me puede escribir el, los nombres de los estudiantes que tuvieron esa dificultad aquí en el chat. Si ellos se encuentran acá, que escriban en el chat los nombres de los estudiantes que tuvieron esa dificultad eh, porque se accesaron a un, a un enlace diferente. Sí, yo creo que sí. Este, voy a revisar en el chat de WhatsApp y se lo escribo. Excelente, gracias. Eh, la palabra, sí. sur, bien, la palabra surprisingly si, significa, es un adverbio y significa sorpresivamente. En inglés se pronuncia surprisingly, surprisingly. Thank you.
eh, escriban su nombre, por favor, lo que les comentaba, para verificar eso. Así solo lo copio. <ríe> Gracias, Catherine. Muy amable. Bien, uh, vamos a seguir. ¿Estamos listos? Are you ready? Yes, no. Tell me, tell me. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. That's perfect. That's what I love. So let's continue. Well, so we were like talking a little bit about, you know, hello, my name is. And also we had some valuable details about names. There are some great names. And also there are some names that perhaps people don't like. I don't know the reasons why, but nowadays there are some people that they don't like their, their names. And I'm surprised like, you know, this is, um, this is a name that I don't like, but this is your name. How is that possible? And they don't like it, but well, we had to respect. Yeah, so let's see. Your name is part of your identity. What do you think? Is according to the article, is true or false? It's true. That's true. true. It's it's true. true. Exactly. So, um, Sebastiana Guadalupe, what do you like about your name? First, uh, my first name, Sebastiana. You like it? Mm, a little. <laughs> and what, what about Guadalupe? Um, yes, I like it. And yeah, what what um what do you like about your name? What? What do you like about your name? Mm, I don't know, but I sound I um I sound uh in my case Sebastiana uh, very long. Okay. And the other is uh, short for me. And how do people call you? How do people call you? They call you Sebastiana or Guadalupe? Guadalupe. Okay, it's most common with your family yeah. and friends. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Okay, second question. People often feel the same way about a particular name? What do you think, students? If they feel identified. Uh -huh. So what is that? Someone else? Se sienten identificados. Ah. They feel identified. They feel the connection, right? Okay. Okay, so the next question is boys' names are more popular than girls' names. 50-50. Okay. Okay, 50-50. And according to the article, what do you think? What did the article says? Jacob. Y Emily. And Emily. False. Okay. I think it's false. Aquí todos se llaman Matías, Diego. Okay. <laughs> common names. You say common names. Okay. And what about uh, people are often names after a family member? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. it's true. Yes, true. that happens. Like some of your relatives have similar names. Ed, okay. Yeah, there are some names. And nowadays, people have names, English names. I don't know. But, you know, there are some people that have names, English names, or Puerto Rican names. Sounds like reggaeton. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Well, last one. 
Opinions about names can change. It's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, that's important. So we have learned about names and especially, you know, we had to like think about that. one. Well, we have uh, the next article. It's let's talk. Uh, the six worst jobs in the United States. And I was asking at first, that if you like your job, le preguntaba si le gustaba su trabajo. Y se quedaron callados. <laughs> Algo pasa. I don't know. All right, so let's evaluate what it says. So we're gonna we're going to take um carefully about this part here. Let's read. It says The six worst jobs in the United States. Uh, well, this information is a little old because actually perhaps there are some other jobs that maybe have changed, but maybe we can also investigate. The fisherman, based on salary, stressed, number of hours, working conditions, and security. I repeat, fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. Those are like one of the jobs that, you know, for people, it's not so good. We have between bad, worst, and the worst. And also we have some questions. Which jobs are dangerous and why? What is your opinion and which job do you think is the worst? And least three other difficult jobs. So I want you to, and work in this activity, I want you to check, and in a small group, in a couple of minutes, we are going to socialize these jobs. You can also include other jobs on the list. I want you to do that one. So we're going to work in breakup rooms, and we're going to practice this information. Así que vamos a practicar esto, vamos a formar unos breakup rooms en este momento y usted va a contestar con sus compañeros estos. Usted puede mencionar otros trabajos también que usted considera pues que, que son como the worst jobs. Maybe in the United States, maybe in El Salvador, I don't know. You have to be creative and think about those jobs. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Entonces, por ahí les mandé el grupo la imagen para que ustedes puedan seguir las preguntas y contestarlas. Let's do it.
¿Cuál, cuál es el trabajo más peligroso? El trabajo más peligroso. Uh, ¿los, ¿Los vendedores ambulantes? Construction worker. Mm. ¿Y por qué? Why? Um, Lumberjack también. ¿Cuál? En base a la a la a la imagen, ¿verdad? Sí. Construction worker. Ah, sí. <coughs> Ajá, yo creo, yo creo que es en base a la imagen. Sí. Si sí, gusta, hagámoslo así para que no andemos tan. Construction Worker. Okay. Esta, como yo lo entendí, puede ser este, como, en función de la imagen o poner otros. Fue que él mencionó que podían ser de aquí, sí. del país o de Estados Unidos. Dije. Ajá. Vaya, hagámoslo conforme a la imagen y hagámoslo okay. del país. Sí. Si gusta. Ok, security guard también. Salador de árboles. Albañil, ¿verdad? Albañil. ¿Podemos poner el albañil? Sería el de construction work. Ajá. Uh -huh. También podemos poner security guard. Ese no está ahí, pero agregamos. Podría ser también el bombero. Ese es fire, firefighter. Firefighter. Bombero. Bombero. En los, en los dangerous. What's your opinion? ¿Cuál es tu opinión? Dice, ¿verdad? Adelante. Gente. Ah. Lumberjack es el de talar árboles, el que decía el compañero. Okay. Al, a la segunda pregunta eh, what's your opinion which job I which, you, which, which job sin, qué trabajo crees que es el peor entonces ahí podríamos poner el de garbage collector que es el recolector de basura ok Thank you. 
En la pregunta uno es eh, ver. Entonces sería electrician because she reads the life. En Texas, Estados Unidos, un bebé que no ha encerrado dentro de un vehículo, pensaron dos veces que no es para mí. Ya decíamos que era el garbage collector. Podemos poner esos tres. Uy. Pero en realidad la pregunta creo que solo podemos poner uno, ¿no? Ah, no, porque dice which, which jobs. Ajá, trabajos, dice más de uno. Ajá. Entonces, Bueno, entonces dos. pongamos esos tres. Entonces, el otro sería maquinaria pesada. Heavy machine operators. Heavy machine operators. Because... ¿Por qué? Eh, porque no sé, por, por algún desperfecto de la máquina. Ajá. O alguna así, caída. Un accidente. Así como lo que pasó ahora en Nueva York, ¿no vieron? No, que una cosa se cayó una cosa de máquina porque los cables se reventaron o algo así ajá, eh, ajá podemos poner eso por desperfectos de máquina por... Damage es, es peligro, vea. Damage, damage. Two. Eh, no, no, ¿Le hace una pregunta? ¿Cuál es tu opinión? ¿Qué trabajo crees que es el peor? El de criminología. <ríe> <ríe> ya me dijo eso de los fluidos, entonces si me puse a pensar tenía razón. <ríe> sí. Hay que tener un gran cuidado. Y también con la mente. Y <ríe> al ver tanto muerto. Lo que no se le va a aparecer, vea. <ríe> Hello, teacher, ya estamos aquí. 
all right, guys, let's continue with the part of this topic. So which jobs are dangerous? Uh, I need a volunteer to, you know, to give me an answer about which jobs you consider like more dangerous than others. Who wants to, you know, oh, share your answer as a group? Me, teacher. Excellent. Eh, para la primera pregunta, eh, which jobs are dangerous and why? Eh, electrician, because he risks his life. Eh, eh, question two, eh, el work, el job, eh, is the worst is garbage collector because you can get infection or disease. And number three, these three other difficult jobs, uh, the police and, lum and lumberjack and construction worker. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So definitely that you took in, into account some dangerous jobs because the things you have to do. So that's interesting. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Okay, someone else that would like to share, um, you know, the answers that you socialize as a team? Someone else? Um, someone else? No one else? Teacher, alguien lo está escribiendo, pero en el chat. Oh, tiene que decirlo. Has to say it. Yes. I need volunteers to, you know, practice. Someone else? There are some jobs that perhaps are a little bit, you know, dangerous, but also jobs that are like um, difficult or challenging to do. You have to be very skillful. Hay que ser muy habilidoso para este tipo de trabajos. And those are the jobs, especially in the United States. Um, impressive, but it's good. Are, are unique jobs. Muy bien. Look at this one. It says complete the word map with jobs from the list. Tenemos cashier, chef, company director, dancer, Flight attendant, musician, pilot, receptionist, server, singer, tour guide, website designer. Y tenemos cuatro categorías. The jobs of office work, travel industry, food service, entertainment business. So what I want you to do is to rank those jobs in those positions. Entonces lo vamos a hacer de esta manera. Vamos a elegir qué trabajo va para cada área. Por ejemplo, cuál trabajo va para office work, food service, travel industry, and entertainment business. Okay? So I will give you um, a couple of minutes to check um, according to the categories. And meanwhile, I will take this time to check the attendant list, okay? If you have a question, you can ask questions. Y yo les ayudo por aquí. ¿Está clara la indicación? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's yes, go. Teacher. All right, perfect.
teacher lo puede poner nuevamente. Is. Thank you. Ok, lo voy a compartir en el chat eh, para que lo pueda ver ahí. Mientras eh, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Okay, you listen your name and you say present. Let's see. So, uh, Ana Isela Janes Angel. Present. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Present. Uh, David Alejandro Rodriguez Benitez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Eh, Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura Cruz. Eric Javier. Eh, Present. Present eh, teacher. Ah, ok. Fiorella Alejandra Crespín. Gerardo José Tepas. Present. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid. Jorge Francisco López. Present teacher. Thanks. Thank you. Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita Sea. Escribió en el grupo de WhatsApp. Dice que está presente. Mm. Thank you. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present. Laura Lisset Peña. Present. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Present. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Re Reina Jael Arevalo. Present. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. 
Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana Abigail. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Present. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present. Thank you. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Uh, what's your name? Sí, Jordana Dos Cruz del Guerrero. Uh, let me check. One second. Okay, it's there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's updated. Hello? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we just like in a briefly way to conclude, check this one, uh, the office work. What do you have as office work? Company director okay. and that's a professional designer. Okay. Okay, great. Asher. Receptionist. Okay. Uh, what about travel industry? Pilot. Or a guide. Pilot. 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 Okay. Interesting. What about food service? Chef. 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 Server. Mm -hmm. Cashier. The cashier. Okay, the cashier. And what about entertainment business? Okay, all right. So, well, so I really appreciate the part of the class. Congratulations to everybody. I hope that we can, you know continue practicing. So I hope to see you tomorrow and congratulations because you have done a great job and you have been like doing the best in the class. So lunes a viernes va a ser teacher, perdón. Monday to Thursday. Mañana jueves. Good night, teacher. Yeah, so good este, night. Yo quería preguntar eso también, fíjese porque en una llamada que me este me hablaron verdad de los corporativos antes de comenzar el módulo me comentaron lo mismo de que sería de lunes a viernes me, me dijeron no sé si siempre se va a mantener de esa forma o, o como anteriormente ha sido que es de lunes a jueves yeah it's Monday to Monday to Thursday but by any chance I will ask uh, the you know the people in charge to send this information in the group así que ahí les van les voy a pedir que les manden la información Pero sí, este, Monday to Thursday. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, have a beautiful night to Good everyone. Night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay.